Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be talking about how to be an adult 101 as an adulting 101. Now I'm not saying I have it all together by no means. What I am saying is so I have learned a thing or two throughout my short time with being an adult and I thought there may be some good tips and tricks that will help you along your adult life journey no matter what age you are. This is applicable to you or to anyone for that matter. Now let's get into it. Tip numero uno, how to stay organized. So how I found is the best way to stay organized is by one, having a little planner such as this, where you have all your little dates and things. Number two is if you have a lot to do, set out a certain time in your day to do such matters. Make all of the tasks that you have to do like homework, make dates to turn stuff in by. If you don't get it done by that time, just like school, you get penalized. Make yourself a penalization so that you don't have time to procrastinate on said things that you need to get done, if that makes sense. For example, if I have photos that I need to edit, especially for a client, say I give myself a week to do it and if I don't get it done by that week, then I don't get paid. For instance, if you have laundry to get done, Guess what? If you don't get your laundry done, then you're gonna have to wear the old clothes that you refuse to wear from the get-go, right? If it's to perfect your craft and say you're an actor, if you give yourself a monologue or two monologues or a script to memorize solely for yourself or even to put up on YouTube or to help your craft become better, then give yourself a deadline, say three days, and if you don't get it done by then, then you have to give yourself some sort of penalization that's either has to relate to that or something else in your life so that you're more focused on getting it done instead of spending your time on Facebook or Instagram or other little things that waste your time overall. Tip numero dos, procrastination. I think everybody I know procrastinates in life. That's just kind of by human nature, we just don't wanna get things done that are important that need to get done, right? Like me, for instance, did I want to do all this, these free photo shoots and whatnot? That's why it took me months before I decided, no, I need to do this. Um, and then of course, what happens when I get it done? I start getting paid. For doing what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So whether it's be, if you're a singer, you need to practice so many songs, you need to practice so many chords, you need to practice so many things in order to get better and perfect your voice, correct? You have to set certain amounts of time per week or per day aside in order to perfect what you need to perfect. And if you're an actor, same thing. If you're a photographer, same thing. You need to spend so much time taking photos and so much time looking up of different ways how to edit and learning different techniques and learning different things on how to become a better photographer if you're a model. Same thing. Take photos of yourself in the mirror. Find Facebook groups that are for models and photographers. Hit up beginning photographers so that you can at least understand how you look in front of the camera and what you don't like and what you do like and in front of the mirror, what you see yourself as. Do you like this angle? Do you like that angle? I like this angle, so I go in front of the camera like so. I never used to like being in front of the camera, but here I am. If you're a writer and you wanna get better at a certain topic on writing on, Search up that topic as much as you know how to do. Make it your life. That's the thing. People say they want to be this, they want to be that, yet they don't make it their life. I made photography my life. I wanted to be as good or even better than all of the amazing photographers out there that I saw on Instagram. I'm getting there. I'm not there. I'm not there. When I'm getting there. Compared to what I was five months ago, I'm a lot better. I'm a lot closer to there. I'm bridging. I was here, they were there, I'm, I'm bridging it a little bit. Like I'm making myself a lot closer to where I wanted to be. And that's the thing, It's and people, th people expect all these things to occur overnight and they don't. They just don't. They take time and they take a lot of energy to put forth and they're draining and you get frustrated because you're like, no, I wanted to be here at this time and you're not. But maybe you will be there like two weeks later. Like you don't, you never know. It could be right around the corner and you give up prior to the even happening and you missed out on a huge opportunity in your life because you quit too soon. If you want something bad enough, you're not gonna quit at it too early on, too prematurely. Because truly, if you want something bad enough, especially a freelance type of career bad enough that you want to have happen, you will do whatever it takes and the amount of hours of your free time to be able to get there. Tip numero tres. Lifestyle. Now for me personally, I just got on this whole bandwagon of health and lifestyle and things like that. 
I used to eat like crap. <laughs> I used to have sugars and sweet, but anything terrible that you can put in your body, I put into my body. I was just skinny fat for a very long time until it came to the point where I'm like, no, I'm just getting pudgier. I'm pudgier. I'm pudgier. I didn't like that. I didn't want that. I kept getting sick. I kept getting nauseous numerous times a month and my roommate, she was like, are you okay? Like you're sick all the time. You're throwing up all the time. Your stomach hurts all the time. You're never okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. It's just because of sleep or something. I made some sort of excuse, but in reality it was everything that I was eating. That was such torment to my body. Staying up late and waking up early. I was trying to be in a night owl and an early bird. Uh, Unless you're a superhuman, that's never heard of. You will get sick at some point. Definitely just cutting out the majority. I don't cut out all sweet shoe. I just had ice cream out of a bucket last night. Not the whole thing, some of it. It's portion sizing, it's portion sizing. I gave myself a limit to only like two sweets a week. One has to be healthy related. Like it could be an apple with Nutella. And yes, that's good with green apples. And then one can be like one cookie. Not five. Since I worked on set, I had an ample amount of free food at my disposal. So I ate. Ugh, ugh, free food, man. Don't do that. Find something to keep you occupied so you don't get bored so that you don't have to eat. Cause sometimes I find myself bored and I'm like, what should I do? Eat. No, find something to do. Find something that will occupy your mouth like gum and then you won't want to eat cause there's gum and mint taste in your mouth. Cutting back, just cutting back slowly but surely and working out, not every day, maybe a few days a week. Maybe even just a half hour like I do. I don't even work out that much. I do 15 minutes of ab workouts and then 15 minutes I just dance. Like there's no one watching because there's no one ever watching me unless I record myself and then I pass out. Don't do that. And those are just a few ways on how to adult. 101. Thank you for your support. I will see you next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love ya.